Burman Cat vs. Ragdoll Cat What are the differences between these two cat breeds? Burman communicates in a soft voice, mainly to remind you that perhaps it's time for dinner or maybe for a nice cuddle on the sofa. With positive reinforcement, Ragdoll Cats learn quickly and can pick up tricks as well as good behaviors such as using a scratching post. The Ragdoll Cat is an all-around best buddy to just about everyone. They love their human families and will get along with other pets fairly well. Docile, sweet, and happy to relax for a good cuddle session, the loving ragdoll will even greet their humans at the door when they come home. If you're looking for a companion, you can't find a much better choice than one of these easygoing felines. Burmans typically weigh 6 to 12 pounds. Female ragdolls usually weigh 10 to 15 pounds, and some males weigh more than 20 pounds. If you like the pointed pattern of the Siamese but not the only voice, a Burman might be the cat for you. He is a docile, quiet cat who loves people and will follow them from room to room. Expect the Burman to want to be involved in what you're doing, and be grateful that he's not as bossy as the Siamese. Docile doesn't mean dumb. The Burman is a smart cat and, of course, curious. He likes to explore his environment, and has been known to get trapped underneath floors that are being replaced or to accidentally, maybe on purpose, go for a ride on top of a car. It's a good idea to always keep tabs on where he is. He communicates in a soft voice, mainly to remind you that perhaps it's time for dinner or maybe for a nice cuddle on the sofa. He enjoys being held and will relax in your arms like a furry baby. Unlike many cats, ragdolls are notable for collapsing into the arms of anyone who holds them, even if they are cradled on their back. They love their people, greeting them at the door, following them around the house, and leaping into a lap or snuggling in bed whenever given the chance. They often learn to come when called or to retrieve toys that are thrown for them. The word most often used to describe them is docile, but that doesn't mean they are inactive. They like to play with toys and enter into any family activities. With positive reinforcement in the form of praise and food rewards when they do something you like, ragdolls learn quickly and can pick up tricks as well as good behaviors such as using a scratching post. They remind you of mealtime or ask for petting but are not excessively vocal. Ragdolls have nice manners and are easy to live with. You will find a ragdoll on your sofa or bed, but generally not much higher than that. He prefers to stay on the same level with his people rather than the highest point in a room. The Burman has a silky, medium-length coat in the pointed pattern of the Siamese, meaning that the color is darker on the face, ears, legs, and tail, a broad, rounded head topped with medium-size ears, bright blue eyes that give him a sweet expression, and four white feet that give him the appearance of wearing little white mittens. This is a medium-sized to large cat with a stocky, powerful body that belies his gentle demeanor. The medium long to long coat has a silky texture and little undercoat, which means that it rarely mats. It forms a heavy ruff around the neck and is wavy on the belly. A pale body, which varies in shade depending on the cat's color, is set off by darker points. For instance, a seal point Burman has a body that is a pale fawn to cream color with a warm tone, gradually shading to a lighter color on the belly and chest. The points are a deep seal brown. In the show ring, the symmetry of the gloves and laces is an important factor and may mean the difference between a kitten going on to a career as a show cat or as a pet. Ragdolls stand out for their large size, semi-long coat and a pointed pattern, and sparkling blue eyes. They are among the largest of the domesticated cats, with some males weighing in at 20 pounds or more. A ragdoll has a light-colored body with a darker face, legs, tail, and ears. He comes in three patterns, mitted and bicolor, both of which have white and color point, which has no white. Ragdolls don't reach their full size and coat development until they are three to four years old. The ragdoll has a silky coat that is moderately long. It's short on the face, blossoms into a ruff around the neck, shortens again on the shoulder blades, then lengthens toward the tail, which is fully feathered with fur. Ragdolls sold as pets may have slight cosmetic imperfections that make them unsuitable for the show ring. These might include ears set higher on the head than preferred, a nose that doesn't turn up at the tip, or eyes that aren't crater lake blue. As long as they have the sweet, loving ragdoll temperament, none of that really matters for a cat who will be a beloved companion. Hello! This video is sponsored by BMix Pets. Are you looking for high-quality cat collars at an affordable cost? Check out bmixpets.com. Use coupon code KITTENLIFE to get 20% off. Despite the length of the Burman's coat, it has a silky texture that doesn't mat easily. Comb it weekly to remove dead hair and distribute skin oils. Burmans shed their winter coat in the spring, so you may want to comb more frequently than to remove loose hair. A warm bath can also help to loosen and remove the shedding coat. To accomplish a Burman bath, wetting the cat with a handheld shower nozzle is often preferable to immersing him in a tub of water. A ragdoll's moderately long fur has a little undercoat, 
which means it is less likely to mat and shed, but that doesn't mean the cats need no grooming. Comb it twice a week with a stainless steel comb to remove dead hair that can cause tangles. Be sure to comb the fur on the legs thoroughly, especially where the leg meets the body, where mats are most likely to occur. A rubber curry brush will smooth the fur after you comb it and remove any remaining loose hairs. If you are gentle and don't pull their hair, ragdolls will love the attention they receive from you during grooming time. Ragdolls usually go through several growth spurts as they mature. These can continue off and on until the cat is 4 years old. Don't be deceived by the pad of fat on the belly, which is a trait of the breed. Until you are sure they have reached their mature size, make sure they always have plenty of food available to fuel their growth. Brush the teeth to prevent periodontal disease. Daily dental hygiene is best, but weekly brushing is better than nothing. Trim the nails every couple of weeks. Wipe the corners of the eyes with a soft, damp cloth to remove any discharge. Use a separate area of the cloth for each eye so you don't run the risk of spreading any infection. Check the ears weekly. If they look dirty, wipe them out with a cotton ball or soft damp cloth moistened with a 50 to 50 mixture of cider vinegar and warm water. Avoid using cotton swabs, which can damage the interior of the ear. Keep their litter box spotlessly clean. Cats are very particular about bathroom hygiene, and a clean litter box will help to keep the coat clean as well. Speaking of litter boxes, a large cat like them needs a box that is supersized to ensure that he has plenty of room to turn around and squat. It's a good idea to keep them as an indoor-only cat to protect them from diseases spread by other cats, attacks by dogs or coyotes, and the other dangers that face cats who go outdoors, such as being hit by a car. The laid-back Berman and Ragdoll are perfectly suited to family life. They rarely extend their claws when playing, and they usually don't mind playing dress-up, riding in a baby buggy, or being a guest at a tea party. Because of their large size, males are an especially good choice for families with children. You should always supervise young children to make sure they don't torment the cat. And with a cat this size, it's essential to teach children how to support the cat, with one arm beneath the front legs and one beneath the hind legs. Never hold them with the hind end hanging down. They are happy to live with other cats and cat-friendly dogs, too, thanks to his amiable disposition. Introduce pets slowly and in controlled circumstances to ensure that they learn to get along together. If you enjoyed this video, kindly press the like button. Also don't forget to subscribe with notifications on, so that you don't miss out on videos like this. Thank you for watching.